guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we got a fun one. We're going to do an Alice Cooper song and learn how to play Poison from beginning to end. So this is going to be really cool. It's got an interesting uh, guitar solo. I'm just going to do the main guitar solo. I'm not going to do that outro solo. Um, it's too long. And the, the main solo is cool enough as it is. Anyway, so we're going to learn all the riffs, the chords of the song, and the main guitar solo at least. All right, so let's start here. We're in standard tuning, and we have this main riff. Um, all right, so we're going to start with two hits on this D power chord. All right, just the fifth fret on the A and the seventh fret on the D and the G. And then that takes us into the... So that's going to be um, kind of a stretch here. We're going to be from the seventh fret there on the D string, back to the fifth fret on the A, then up to the ninth fret on the G string, and then back to that fifth fret on the A. And then seventh fret on the D, and then back to that fifth fret on the A. Then we have this. That's going to play four on the D, up to five on the D, and then over to five on the uh, G string. And let those, those two notes can ring together a little bit. So we have this four, five, and then add the five on the G, and then do, do that again. Then you're going to come down, play seven, five on the A. So that's really the main riff. And then you just kind of hold that, and then you kind of slide back into it to start it over. Now, when you hear the band come in um, with him, we're gonna he does a slide from the third fret. This is after you played the riff twice, basically. You're gonna start it from sliding from three up to five, and then you just continue the same riff. And then at the end of it, you just keep doing that little 7 to 5, 9 to 5, 7 to 5, uh, twice. And you end at 7 to 5, and you just hit the power chord there. All right, so that's the intro of the song. Then Alice comes in with the actual verse. Um, the first verse, there's no guitar there uh, for the first half of it. And then he starts building up to this stuff. So that sounds like it would be a pre-chorus, but it doesn't. They take it in this whole different section, which is the actual pre-chorus. So uh, we're going to start here. Now this is built off of a lot of sus2 chords. So you might want to just kind of, uh, a little later on in the song, we're going to do a slight variation on this, but do a bar at the third fret and then play the fifth fret on the D and the G. So we'll have this little pattern. Now the first time it comes in, it comes in at a different sp uh, point in the, in the measure. So we're going to just start here with the fifth fret there on the D muted over to the uh, second, uh, the third fret there on the uh, B string, and then back to that D string. And then you're going to pick a cross now from the B string to the G, back to the D, and back to the G. That's the way this. One more time. Now just take that shape and move it up to the... The E flat here, so you're going to move just this bar up to the sixth fret. And now he does the full picking pattern here, which you're going to want to remember. So that starts on the on the low, uh, the this fifth string here, and then the fourth, and then you. It's the same picking pattern. So basically, you add this first note on the A string, the picking, and then. And then do that full pattern from here. So he's basically adding a note at the very beginning. And then take that down to the first fret, same picking pattern. 
and then move it up to the fifth fret just with the power chord here and start building that up just muting it and slowly letting go of the mute so All right, now we get to the actual pre-chorus, which is a very interesting chord progression. Uh, I'm not sure how they came up with this, but it's it's really cool how it works with the vocals. The vocals keep developing. It's, it's an interesting chord progression. So it sounds like this. That takes us to the chorus. All right, so there's a lot of chords there, but they're all power chords. So we're gonna start with the power chord, this G power chord with the 10th fret of the A string. So I'm just always always holding the kind of the, the power chord with the, uh, there's a 10, 12 on the D, and then the octave on the, of that G there, the 12th fret there on the G string. So I'm gonna keep doing that shape. 10 to six. Then over to the sixth fret there on the low E string power chord, and then back to the A string power chord of the eighth fret. So it is. Then jump down to the fifth fret off the A string. Then the fourth fret of the low E. Back to the A string, sixth fret, and down to the first fret. So we have this so far. Then the A power chord, F on the low uh, first fret of the, um, the open A power chord to the F power chord, the first fret of the low E. Then the third fret power chord off the A, and the G power chord off the third fret of the low E. That's the way this. So we're gonna end this pre-chorus by going fifth fret power chord off the A string, down to one. Then the first fret of the low E, and the third fret of the A string. So it's basically uh, four groups of four chords each. So all together. All right, now we get to the chorus, uh, which is similar to the opening riff of the song, but I'm gonna show you the chords underneath it first. The chords uh, the second guitarist is playing underneath it are this. So that's just uh, basically part of that pre-chorus there. So it's the fifth fret there on the A string, off the A string power chord, to one, down to the low E first fret, and then the third fret off the A. So repeat those four chords four times, and then after you do that four times, the last time, resolve it down to a the B flat power chord here at the first fret of the A string. All right, so the riff that goes on over that uh, is this. So similar, that much is the same. And then we have this though. So that's three five on the D, over to five on the G. And then play this, three five on the D, back to three five. Okay, three five to three five twice. Then down to two. 
and then back to the 5 on the A. Repeat that. So after four times, then you just continue just the same meaning that we did at the beginning song. Alright, now over the second verse, we have kind of, I think it's on a delay. Uh, there's a delay on the guitar thing, but you can just do all three hits. So it's the same chords that uh, the second guitar was playing underneath the solo, I mean, underneath the chorus. It's just... And then we're back to that same. kind of second half of the verse. So after you get to that C, that's when that picking pattern starts. Now, he does a slight variation of this. The very first time on the first chord, he starts it, he goes to the top three strings and picks across those three. Instead of this, he goes. And then the rest of the picking pattern, it's the same as it was in the uh, first verse. So just for completeness sake, I was going to show you what's going on there, just in case you heard something a little bit higher pitch. That's what's going on. It's just he's playing off a higher string uh, pitch for all three strings. All right, so let's go now. We're, uh, where are we at here in this song? Uh, so we go through the pre-chorus again and then the chorus again, um, and then we get to the solo. Now, I'm going to do this solo here. It's got a lot of whammy bar stuff with a floating trim system, which I don't have on this. And my guitar with a floating trim system is a little bit sick right now. So I can't use it. So it's going to be hard to keep this in tune uh, afterwards, but uh, we'll do our best here. All right, so let me play through it real quick for you. All right, so my G string is getting out of tune. <laughs> Doesn't sound right, does it? Um, uh, from from doing this, so uh, let me just get this tuned up a little bit. So now let's take out, check out what I was doing here. Um, we're gonna start with uh, the bar de uh, depressed, and then doing the open A string, and bringing it up the pitch, and then do the same thing with the fifth fret of the A string. Over to seven on the D, five on the B, and an out of tune G string. over to the 7th fret on the G. You gotta just mind it. There's no other way around on this guitar. And then we have this. Uh, so we have the, now we're doing that bar dive into the 4th fret there of the D to 5 on the D and 5 on the G. And then we have this. So that's just that 7th fret kind of scooping into the 7th fret of the A string. Pull off of the D, the, of the fifth fret there, and then do a bar dive. All right, now the next phrase sounds like this. All right, so we have there, we're going to do it. So that's the bend there at the 13th fret on the B string. To the 10th fret on the high E string. Then pull off 13 to 10 on the B. To 12 on the G. Back to the 10 on the B. Then you're gonna hammer uh, 11 to 12 on the D, uh, G string, and then over to 12, 10 on the D. All right, then we have this last little run. All right, so this is, uh, uh, you know, Al Petrelli, he had kind of a, a interesting way of playing this solo and this lick. Uh, I've seen it played other places, but if you look at the videos, this is where he's doing it. And if you slow it down, the note's a little bit different than uh, what you'll, you'll see a lot. Um, but what he's actually playing here is... Uh... 
So that's 15, 17, I'm sorry, 17, 19, 21 on the G string. Up to the 18th fret there on the B. So that's the first four notes. And then, then we have seven, um, 19, 21 on the G, 18, 20 on the B. And the last notes are still the uh, 19th fret here. This is well uh, uh, on the uh, G string. Then 18, 20 there on the B. Over to 17 on the high E string. Then back back down to the 20th fret on the B. 17, 20 on the high E into that bend. Now, coming out of that solo, we have a, kind of a, a bridge section where the chords are slightly different, and that looks like this. All right, so that's just uh, kind of starts the same as the pre-chorus. This tip fret power chord, the A, down to six, oh, and then six on the low E string power chord. Then straight to that D power chord of the fifth fret of the A string. Build up. Then that takes us to the normal pre-chorus and then back to the chorus. Now this chorus has a little slightly different after they play through the same progression just four times like normal. So so the rhythm guitar part. It just there's a little build up there, so after you've played the riff four times, you're just gonna do a power chord build up. The um, G power chord of the third fret of the low E string, then the B flat power chord of the sixth fret of the low E. And then I'm back in. Now, uh, the outro solo, I'm not gonna go through that note for note, but what it, he is doing is just, you can just really think D minor scales over it. So if you know your D minor scales, um, or if you just visualize, like to visualize stuff as major, just see it as F major. It's in D minor, but it's the same notes. So um, it could be D minor pentatonic if you want, or just D natural minor, and just kind of improvise here, because that's what he does anyway. He, live, he just would always do something different. Uh, the main solo is the thing that he would repeat a lot, um, kind of do it note for note. Uh, but the outro solo, just go nuts on it in D minor, and you'll be good. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.